everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about my first impressions of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 2, so yeah let's get started. And as you can see the background gameplay for today's video and that's actually going to be some Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 2 gameplay and I'm actually going to be playing on the map Extras which is actually the Rust remake here in Infinite Warfare. And yeah as you can see the gun that I'm actually going to be using in today's video and that's actually going to be the NV4 follow and as you can see I actually got a double kill right at the beginning of the gameplay and the reason why I'm actually using the NV4 and that's just because I want to use kind of an easy gun for my first game because I didn't know how good the players I was actually going to be facing up against were so that's how come I'm actually using the NV4 follow and I actually get a bloodthirsty in the first little bit of the game so yeah in this video I'm actually going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions towards Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 2 and on the side note if you would actually like to check out a video that I made a couple months ago and that was actually me showcasing some of the maps in DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare, you can actually go and check that out. So yeah, let's actually get into DLC 2 and what I actually think about the map that you're watching on your screen right now, as well as the whole DLC. Now, as you can see, the gameplay in the background is actually on the Rust remake and in my own opinion, I think it's actually a really good remake. Now, I've actually never played Rust in Modern Warfare 2, however, the map that I'm actually playing right now, I think it's pretty good, like it's pretty fast paced and I actually dropped 40 kills in my first game online and this was actually really my first game of playing Infinite Warfare in quite a few months. Like, I have played it for like the new weapons and things like that, but I haven't really played it like getting on and playing it really ever since really DLC 1. So, it's been quite a little while since I really played Infinite Warfare. And yeah, this map is actually really good in my own opinion. Like, it's pretty fast paced and in my own opinion, I think it's really good and I really think it's pretty disappointing because a lot of people don't don't actually like this map and a lot of people were really hating on this map before the DLC came out because uh, no offense to anyone they just were not looking forward to really seeing Rust with like jetpacks and things like that and they were really hoping for Rust to be remade in Modern Warfare Remastered instead of Infinite Warfare however I do get that and I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to actually see like Rust boots on the ground and things like that however I must say this map is actually really good I mean it's very fast paced and you can get a lot of kills on it and I actually said this in the previous previous video of mine which I was talking about Infinite Warfare DLC 1 and that is Infinity Ward is actually pretty known for their DLCs like for example in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghost specifically their DLC maps were really good and a lot of people actually liked those maps over the original game. So yeah that's actually enough of me talking about the Rust remake. Now going on into the other maps I think they're actually pretty good and as you can see the gameplay on your screen right now is actually going to be on the map Teresta which is actually another DLC 2 map and in my own opinion I I think it looks absolutely fantastic like the colors and everything like that it looks really good at the beginning of this gameplay I actually ended up using the OSA however near the end of the gameplay or about halfway through I actually switched to a different gun and that's actually going to be the VPR submachine gun because I noticed that my uh, assault rifle really wasn't working and I actually was going negative at the beginning of the gameplay however I turned it around and actually got some of my streaks but yeah I'm gonna say about this map I think it's actually really good I mean the the colors were really nice and I noticed that it plays pretty well like there are some slow parts as well as there are some head glitching spots however overall I think the map is really good now this is actually going to be probably my least favorite map in the DLC and that is going to be I forget the name of it but it's basically like this modern art museum however when I actually played that map I wasn't the biggest fan of it and that was just because I noticed that it's kind of a bit of a weird map like if you were actually to play it there's some locations that are really close quarters I mean like you go into a room, one door in front of you, there's one door behind you and like enemies can come in in any direction and then the next area you're in this big open plaza with head glitching spots and things like that then there's a huge long line of sights that snipers usually camp at and I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of that map just because um, it's very campy and kind of a bit slow paced however if you're a fan of that map that's completely okay this is just my own personal opinion and unfortunately when it comes to the last map I actually was not able to play that yet because I only had a limited time to be able to play the DLC before I was actually able to make this video. However, in a couple of days or maybe about a week, and once the dust settles on this DLC, I'm actually going to be doing like my impressions of this DLC once the dust settles so that way it's not like, oh, everything's awesome because it's new. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video. And I hope to see you in the next one.